Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. We're here on Pearl Street in Lower Manhattan. We're covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Wednesday, June 21, 2023. Now, this may be the end of this uh, ongoing insider trading trial of Rajesh Goel of Goldman Sachs. Yesterday were the two closings. There's just today a rebuttal, the legal instructions and deliberations. He may, it may be decided even today. Um, Dr. Haddon, the dirty doctor of Columbia University, late last night, midnight, I believe we were the first to cover it, uh, the government put in its sentencing memorandum. They want 25 years in prison. He only wants 36 months. So we'll see how the difference there's, there's two different sentencing days with victims speaking, and we're going to cover both of them. But over in EDNY, in the case of George Santos, George Santos, like Sam Bankman Freed here, which we got unsealed, wants to have his shirters sealed. It doesn't work. So they've been ordered unsealed, and the deadline is tomorrow, the uh, 22nd, at noon. But the judge, the district judge there, has said you might want to just withdraw the names, in which case apparently the names would never come out. This has given rise in the House of Representatives to a resolution saying even if he withdraws it, the names should be disclosed uh, in the interest of uh, complying with uh, House finance rules. So uh, this didn't happen in SBF, and you have to wonder why. On the other hand, and to be fair, we must speak of the Hunter Biden uh, proposed settlement of the criminal charges. Um, the tax charges, okay, the gun, now it's not a normal felon in possession. It's, it's applying for a gun while being addicted to an illegal substance, which they say rarely gives rise to, to, to jail time. We'll see. But what grabs me is that the whole idea of the Chinese bribery firm, China Energy Fund Committee, giving Hunter Biden a $1 million diamond, what was that for? And I want to know, and the reason is because the same firm bribed the United Nations, uh, and the people that took the money are still in the United Nations. And for asking about it, we were thrown out, and then we reapplied um, to reaccredit. We've done it this week, for the, 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 and it's pending, and there's been no response to it. We've asked in emails to the spokespeople, we've put it in, other people are getting it approved. Watch this space, because these questions must be asked, and they will be asked. InnerCityPress.com.